I released the large Lahontan cutthroat back into Omac Lake. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here in March in one of our favorite places in Omac Lake. Hopefully we'll get out there and catch some nice Lahontan trout. Stick around, I think it'll be a great show. Steve, I just saw a fish Ooh, rise yeah. recently right out here. And I saw one earlier that was out further. Yeah. No, there's current coming in from this little creek, so maybe it'll congregate the fish in this area. Okay. Well, you mind if I sneak out and just try this area no, right here? No, and I'll, I'll just be on the other side of you here eventually. Okay, all right. Got to tie Sounds a fly good. on first, but. All right. Okay. <sighs> Did this one need leader? What? Oh, this one doesn't need leader, right? I don't think so. This needs a fly. Fish. Fish on, Steve. <laughs> All right. That did not take long. That was like the second cast of the day, which I'm really glad it was the second cast because we all know what happens when it's the first cast of the <laughs> yeah. day. It's usually the last fish of the day. Why are you reeling in your line like that? Well, you know, you're getting all this rat's nest. Uh, <laughs> I'm not really sure. <laughs> no, I'm just, it's good to get these fish on the reel. So if they make a run, it's kind of the reel. Here's uh, the net. Thank you, sir. It's a gorgeous fish. It's a good thing I made a run to the truck for the net, huh? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Boy. Boy, these are big fish. Mm. Big fish. Right now, we're the only people here on the lake. And uh, you're catching fish like oh, this. Oh, my gosh. Wow. It's incredible. I release the large Lahontan cutthroat back into Omac Lake. Oh man, that's a great start to the day. Sure is. Yeah, I threw out one cast, uh, stripped it in, threw out another cast, and boom, hit right away. That's great. Awesome. Yeah, awesome they're out start. there. We can see them swirling. Yeah. They're definitely. Let's get out for some more. Yeah, sounds great. I love it when uh, the fish strikes the fly when you're pulling streamers because you'll be just be twitching a little bit and all of a sudden, bam, and you feel that head shake. It's pretty awesome. There's one. Man, followed it right up. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, he was only about 15 feet from me when he hit. Awesome. Yeah, very cool. Not quite as big as yours, but Nice bright fish. Okay, I'm gonna grab the net. All right, come on, baby. Awesome. Boy, that's a bright one. It's a fly we're using. Smoke and mirrors. It's kind of gray. Got some flash in it, gray and white with flash and eyeballs. Boy, look at this one, lad. It's a nice trout. Beautiful fish. There she goes. Yeah, you just never know where they're gonna hit, you know? That st stripped for quite a ways that time and uh, hit. I was just getting ready to kind of pull in and cast again and it hit hard. It was awesome. Oh, fish. Oh, my. Yep, I knew I saw him rising out here. Awesome. I managed to bring the Lahontan cutthroat closer and readied the net. Oh, boy. Nice. Ooh, that's, that's a, a good, fish. good yeah. fish. I mean, they are very nice. Mm. Very nice big fish, I'm telling you. It's yeah, that exciting. guy put up a great tussle. Yeah, that is a gorgeous big, mm -hmm. big trout. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, what a hot morning starting off. I mean, the water's frigid, but the fish is <laughs> hot. <laughs> Can't beat it. Beautiful, calm day, even though we're supposed to get stormed out of here later. <laughs> Trying to fish and 
get some good fishing in, we sure are. Yeah, awesome. it's not taking a lot of cast to catch a fish, is it? Nope, knock on wood, yep. knock on wood. It's awesome, we got the right fly. Yeah. Fish awesome. are here. Yeah, the fly we're using again, I think it's called Smoke and Mirrors. We picked it up there in Olmac at uh, North 40. Fly yeah. Shop. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. And there's a fish. Good job. Thanks. Nice trout again. Same same technique, you know. It's like got it pretty dialed in here for sure. Okay, I seem to be catching all the small fish today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Steve's but they're bright. Yep, and you're <laughs> complaining about 14, 15 inch I fish, I might add. Yeah, I know, it's terrible. <laughs> and I shouldn't be. Beautiful fish. Mm -hmm. That's the hunt and cutthroat. Gorgeous. Pound and a half, maybe. All yeah. right. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Again, it's just the same thing, getting it out there, letting it sink. Stripping along the bottom, and I felt it bump it one time, came back and hit it again. It was awesome. I might try that kind of weight out there as far as I can make it. Okay. I'll try it over here. Yeah. That one fish kind of rose right out there. All right. I highly recommend going to a local fly shop. They get reports. They know what flies are being used and, and are doing well. We went to North 40, they put us onto these flies and they're working great. So what we're doing is uh, fishing. There's a little bit of a high spot here and it drops off out uh, about 15 feet from us. So we're casting out over that to fish cruising in the shallows, chasing sculpins and minnows. And uh, that's what we're presenting to them with our flies, sculpin and minnow imitations. And, Stripping it so it gives it some lifelike motion. And there it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, this time I put on a, because we lost one of our smoke and mirrors flies, I put on a, a white minnow pattern and uh, worked as well, so that's good to know. This fly we are using right here represents a minnow and uh, f you know, it flops around in the water and makes nice movement and attracts the fish. Awesome. awesome. And we pinch the barb down on all these flies so we can get them out easier. Sometimes they take them pretty deep, but this one looks like it's in the edge of his mouth, so it popped out real nicely. Look at the colors on that thing. Nice, yep, that's the way it works. <laughs> it's so incredible so far this morning. There, again, there's a lot of fish, and we're hitting them probably every third or fourth cast. And uh, that's great, awesome fishing. So in this setup, we are using a nine foot five weight with actually a dry fly line and then a fairly short leader to the fly. And we put a little weight on it to get it down there because the fish are probably six to eight to 10 feet deep. It's been working. There's one. All right. <laughs> Good job. It worked. Yeah. Go out and add it. Oh, oh nice. Fish. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, awesome. I love it. Mm. Beauty. Yeah, that was fun. I just decided to do something a little bit different rather than pulling the minnows and leeches and put on a strike indicator with a San Juan worm underneath it and third cast it hit. I'm using a, a nine foot five weight, again with dry line and then a strike indicator. And I had it about nine feet, eight feet, something like that when I was out there fishing. Um, and it's a, a release indicator. So when the fish hits, it releases. And then uh, this is the fly, just a San Juan worm, kind of the pale colored one rather than red, and I uh, sure liked it. A nice thing about fishing Omac Lake is it's very close to the town of Omac, so be sure to just stay there, drive out here in just a matter of minutes, and have some great fishing.
Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Sorry. <laughs> I just got I just got my line. I haven't even cast out yet. Yeah, that just barely hit the water and it hit. Grab the net. I like this net. It's great. It just sits in the water here and handle floats up. Oh, pretty hard. It's a nice trout. Oh yeah, that's a fat one, man. Woo! Boy, yeah, this is a lot bigger fish than I've been catching today. That's awesome. Whoo, this water is cold. I may have to go warm up. Do we bring coffee at all? <laughs> <laughs> right now we have cold decaf. Uh, uh, man, my hands are getting numb. Yeah, Woo! you're catching too many fish. But it's worth it, yeah. That, yeah, <laughs> hands in the water all the time. It gets too cold. <laughs> yeah, I feel sorry for you. Okay. The last half hour, it has just absolutely gotten frigid out there and our toes are about ready to freeze off and hands are numb. And so what we're going to do is just take shifts fishing and uh, Steve's up first. Oh boy. Yeah. I'm excited. Fish on. <laughs> you called it. <laughs> yep. This feels like a pretty weighty fish. Ooh, ooh, there he goes. Yeah. It's either a bigger fish or a really good fighting fish. Or both. Grab the net a little bit. The fish continued to pull hard. Oh, oh boy, it's getting me worn out here. It's a nice sized trout for sure. Oh, nice. Good fish. Yep, it is. It's a fat one. All right. Look at that nice fish. Mm -hmm. Three and four pounds, probably. Man, <laughs> are you clapping because uh, my hands are numb? Got the fish. <laughs> uh, the things we do for fun. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was fun. That was good, hard fighting fish. Took out some line a couple times. That San Juan worm's been pretty effective here in the last hour or two. Steve and I have been both using different tactics. He's been using a San Juan worm, I've been using a streamer, and both have been very effective. Well, as if it wasn't cold enough, at least it's starting to rain. Oh yeah, all right. Rain or shine, yeah. we catch a fish. Boy, I tell you, and it's a good one too. I've seen it flash. Oh yeah, it's getting close. Okay. Big one. Awesome. Okay. Oh nice. yeah. That's, that's a, a big fish. That's a big fish. <laughs> awesome. Oh, yeah, I tell you, it hit like a ton of bricks. That was cool. Nice. Look at that big. <laughs> big. <laughs> Kahuna Lahontan. Yeah, I mean, the weather has deteriorated. It's gotten cold. A little bit of rain, but not too bad. Still catching fish, having yep. a lot of fun still. Yeah. All right. It's actually a little almost warmer because the wind quit. Yeah. Oh, but no. I shouldn't have said that, should I? No, never say the W <laughs> word. Oh, 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 there it is right there. Nice. Man, that was really cool. I saw him take that fly. That's awesome. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah, that was really cool. I was kind of stripping it a little, moving it, you know, and I saw this flash right behind my strike indicator. Boom. Oh, yeah. Another nice trout. <sighs> Come right in, baby. Nice fish. Three pounder. 
Oh yeah, that was good. The San Juan worm's been good to me, I tell you. But I, I put a little more movement on it that time. I don't know if that was the difference, but it was, you know, pretty close, and I was kind of moving it a little bit. And I saw this flash behind the strike indicator and set the hook, and sure enough, it was there. Fish. All right. Fish, fish, fish. Man, it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's such a great lake, and we are the only people out here today. Sure, it's a little bit chilly, but we are catching some very nice fish. And we're catching them on different tactics. Steve's using San Juan worm. I'm using a, a minnow type leech. And we are both catching fish and having a great time. And these, as you can tell, are very nice fish. No doubt about it. Olmac Lake is a year-round fishery, but if you do come here to fish, be sure to check out the regulations because some of the bays are closed to non-tribal members. Nice fish. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm telling you, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, this is just a hot day of fishing, a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. Keep this thing rolling. The waters of Olmac Lake are alkaline, and uh, these Lahontan cutthroat trout are the only fish that survive in here, and they grow big. There's one. All right. <laughs> Grab the net here. That's a big one. Big one. Yeah. That's a good fish. There it goes. Very cool. Yeah, that was an, a good fish. Again, on that same smoke and mirrors streamer. It's been a very effective fly. So, I don't know. I'm excited about the streamer fishing. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Seems like bigger fish too with the streamer. Yep, so far, so far it's been very effective. We've caught them on all types of flies now. At first it was just a couple, but now on the cron mid too. So, all right, keep plugging away. Yep. So I'm casting it out far enough to be in, a, I'm hoping about 10 feet of water, letting the fly sink to the bottom. So you wait about 10 or 15 seconds to get it down there assuming it's you know hopefully about a foot or two off bottom and then what I started doing is just it's it's just a slow twist with your hand you just kind of slowly and that that slowly moves the fly out there and gives it so it's just not totally sitting still since there's not many waves today no wind every once in a while too it's good once you're doing this twist to give it just kind of a nice long strip bring it up off bottom more and then the fly will sink back down and then just go back to the slow movement. Got him. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Just strike indicator disappeared. It's shown. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah, that's cool. I'll have to show you. It's a black coronamid with a fairly dark head. See if that's what it like, what they all like, but awesome. Before you come fish Omac Lake, be sure to pick up a Colville Reservation Fishing Permit. Nice fish. Mm. Yeah, pretty cool. I'm really pumped to catch that on the Coronamid. That's the first one on a Coronamid today. And we definitely saw some hatching here in the afternoon. And uh, that's what I put on there. Fairly standard. Probably about a size 14 black coronamid, the darker head. And uh, it was about nine feet under the strike indicator, casting it out about 10 feet of water. So uh, should be about a foot off bottom and fish picked it up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we had a great time here at Omac Lake. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please join us next week for more Fishing with Ladin. Be sure to join us next time for more Fishing with Ladin because we're having fun Catching fish.
Hey folks, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.